Jim Gantner, Cecil Cooper, and Rob Deere and several other former big leaguers are in Fenimore this week for Rob Deere's baseball camp. They're also doing a number of other charity events in the Fenimore community, but how in the world did a bunch of major leaguers decide to make Fenimore their home for the week? Eric Ryla has the story. Time flies when you're having fun, and for kids in Fenimore, getting baseball tips from former big leaguers yeah, there it is. is like living a fantasy. I can't believe I've been here for two hours already. It feels like 30 minutes. But all these kids wouldn't be having this fun if not for the one kid that couldn't be here. You see glimpses of him and, and the work that he's doing now. It's just a, a warming feeling. Steve Landusky's son, Derek, loved baseball. And he woke up every morning and turned on MLB Network. Two years ago, just shy of his 10th birthday, Derek died in a UTV accident. He died in my arms. Um, my other two kids were with us at, at the time, and uh, just, it was just horrible. It's the worst feeling that you could ever imagine. Just months after living any parent's worst nightmare, Steve and his family had a decision to make. I'd signed up for fantasy camp prior to his death. My wife and I talked about um, maybe it wasn't a good idea for me to go, um, but in the end we thought that it's something that he'd want us to do. At Brewers Fantasy Camp, Steve met Mike Keith and the two bonded immediately. Uh, Mike had lost his girlfriend uh, to a, a horrible tragedy as well. It was kind of a connection right there. Keith shared Steve's story with longtime friend and business partner, former brewer Rob Deere. He said, well, you know, I mean, let's do something up there. Let's, you know, so they got together and they brought the idea to me and I was all for it. Two years later, here we are. Deere and his big league buddies are making friends with the kids of Fenimore. Hard to I like say. all of them. Yeah, same yeah. I like all of them. And proving that one act of kindness can turn a family's tragedy into a dream come true for hundreds. Probably up there right now just thinking how cool this is. In Fenimore, Eric Ryla, News 3 Sports. There's a pros versus Joe's softball game tonight at 7 in Fenimore. And tomorrow night we'll have a meet and greet at the Silent Woman restaurant starting at 6. So if you're around, feel free to stop by. But what a story. Yeah. Tragic yeah. events, but uh, yeah. it's turning out to be something pretty yeah. positive. And his legacy lives on. Yeah. Jay, thank you. you